And so we would never pay for anything, any platform, any service, unless we knew that we could two, three, four X those dollars. Um, Sync has been very fruitful for us. Rockerbox has been amazing. Hi, I'm Richard Kaiser, a director of demand generation and sales ops here at Sync. And we work closely with an ISA service, Rockerbox, who they share many clients with us as well. And so Josh Cunningham, the founder there, has joined us Howdy. as well with a team that uses both Sync and Rockerbox. I'll kick it over to Josh. Awesome. Well, like you said, we've had a wonderful partnership for several years now and worked with tons of the top producing real estate teams from coast to coast and identified thousands of opportunities on their behalf to help them close hundreds of millions of dollars in real estate transactions. And really our key to success here is, is making sure that we have systems in place to not only convert those registrations into opportunities, but having a great source of talent to make those calls. And of course, we're based here in College Station, Texas, which is home to Texas a and University. So all of our callers are right here in the United States. They're English speaking, they're college educated. And then the third key to success is having the right culture in place to always improve that talent and build those systems around getting the highest conversion. And that's something that we uh, pride ourselves a lot on here at Rockerbox is creating a highly productive company culture and uh, making it fun and rewarding for everybody involved. Because as we know, you may have heard this before, but calling internet leads sometimes is not that much fun. So that's sort of our secret sauce. Our key to success is uh, making the work fun and meaningful and fruitful and rewarding for everybody involved. And that helps us serve our purpose, which is to move people forward. And uh, it's pretty obvious that we move people forward through the sales pipeline by taking those cold registrations and turning them into hot opportunities. But the work that that makes the impact on is obviously the callers here on our team get to accelerate their young professional career by building amazing experiences and, uh, and graduating from Texas A&M and pursuing full-time positions. But all those calls, all those warm leads being passed off to our agents helps them move their life forward as well. And so that's why we brought uh, Morgan and Josh from the Mojo team here out of Scottsdale, Arizona, to talk a little bit about the impact that this work has made on their lives by having a leveraged team of ISAs to call those warm leads. So Morgan and Josh, why don't you guys take it over now and give us a little introduction about how you guys got into real estate and then uh, eventually led you to working with the combination of uh, Commission Zinc and Rockerbox. Yes, Josh and I have both been licensed uh, agents since 05, licensed brokers since 2007. You know, we fought and stumbled along as, as solo agents for years, honestly, really into the, the early teens and tried out a number of different lead generation platforms and did different things. But I would say our business has primarily been impacted over the past really seven years. Uh, and about that same time as when we did start working with Commissions Inc. and really got purposeful around generating leads. And then a, a couple of years later, brought on rocker box to help us work some of those leads as well but so josh and i run a we're, we're both uh licensed brokers agents we both still work in the business we also run a team of about 30 individuals here in scottsdale last couple of years sold over 110 million uh each year and so, yeah it's a it's a busy and productive team josh what do you want to add to that you pretty much covered most of it yeah, obviously we love the partnership with Sync. We've been using you guys for gosh, how long? Seven years now? Seven years. Yeah, long time. We're very intentional about where we put our money and what we spend our money on. And so we would never pay for anything, any platform, any service, unless we knew that we could two, three, four X those dollars. Um, Sync has been very fruitful for us. Rockerbox has been amazing. You guys have provided a lot of opportunities for us over the last couple of years and same thing, like we wouldn't keep the partnership going if we didn't see the value there. And if we weren't uh, getting opportunities out of it and, uh, you know, it's a great way to uncover some additional clients, buyers and sellers that, that maybe we wouldn't be able to get to just because of life and meetings and, and business just, you know, life happens. And so the nice thing with rocker boxes, you guys have this, the speed to lead down getting a hold of people within the first five minutes of them registering and, and making that early connection and 
once again, just uncovering some some great leads that maybe we wouldn't be able to get to it because we just maybe wouldn't be able to call them for a couple hours or maybe even a day or two. So we really we really appreciate the partnership. Certainly. Well, it's definitely our pleasure to help you guys solve those problems. And before we had hit record here, you talked about some of the trends that you guys notice in analyzing your top tier, most successful clients at Commissions Inc. And really kind of the bottom common denominator was that they have the tandem use of, of an ISA solution, right? Because like you said, Josh, you, sometimes as a busy agent, you know, you're involved face-to-face -face with a client or you're achieving some of that freedom that you got into this business for, and maybe spend some time with your family or on vacation and the leads are always coming in. And so you've got to have a solution there to uh, call that lead right away. But any other uh, thoughts or things that you'd like to add on that idea there, Richard, about your most successful commissions, Inc. Uh, customers that you guys see? Yeah. I think one of the things our CEO led an analysis, he's got a consulting background. So he's going through, okay, if we look at of the clients that we've worked with in, in the real estate space, who's been the most successful, right? And what is our, what is the ROI looked at? You know, the same way you guys are saying ROI is super important for you, limited money to spend there. What are the common denominators that have made people most successful? And, and we're going through is how do we better build a playbook for our clients, people who maybe haven't had as much experience, right? Doing online lead gen for seven years like you all, but what are those best practices that work? And what we've seen is, there's two ways. One way, there are certain people, if you can hire the right type of agent who will consistently call the database and follow all the best practices in terms of talk track and speed the lead and all of that is one way we've seen people successfully. The other way though, is you can guarantee somebody will do all those things if you hire an ISA service like Rockerbox. And we've seen similar clients to you all, they've had a lot of success there. And so I think I'd ask Morgan and Josh, like in terms of getting new agents up to speed, making sure the leads are being worked the correct way. How has Rockerbox kind of changed your ability to work online leads since you guys started working with them? Yeah, with, with, with new agents or even seasoned experienced agents, it's really tough to, to gauge how much interaction they're having with the leads. Obviously they take notes and they label and we can go in and see everything going on in the back end, but what we find is that the busier an agent gets, the less able they are to get to either calling a brand new lead that comes in or following up with a lead the right way. Multiple touch points in the first two weeks and then touch points every two weeks or three weeks or four weeks after that, just depending on where that lead is in the system. And we just find that as agents become busier and busier, it's really hard for them to stay on top of all those leads and all the follow-up calls and emails and text messages that they should be doing to make them successful and, and to generate a couple additional sales every year. Obviously with Rockerbox, that solves that problem. And so we do have a combination on our team where we're using both Rockerbox and then we also have our agents as like a kind of like a secondary kind of a, a support net there. And so in combination with Rockerbox calling the leads and then our agents also uh, calling and generating some follow-up calls and, and activity there, we found it to be a pretty, pretty successful solution. And the number one key, and anyone watching this needs to keep in mind and remember, is consistency is key and the fortune is in the follow-up. So if you're only, if you have a lead generated system, you have to work it and you have to work it consistently over and over and repetitive, or you need to hire that ability out too. You also have to realize that many studies have shown that some of your best opportunities to contact and connect with that lead are within that first five or 10 minutes while they're still at the computer, while they just hit your site. Um, you call them an hour, two, three hours later, they're gone most times, and you may or may not get them back on the phone. That's where we found a lot of value in someone like Rockerbox is being able to make that initial connection. Now, will you catch everybody? No, of course you're not going to. There's a lot of people that you can't, but that's where your consistency and your follow-up has to really be key. Our agents on our team, because not all of the, our agents on our team choose to work within our lead system, and that's okay, but those who do, those who are consistently working the platform are also the ones having the most success. It, you definitely get out of it what you put into it, but the thing to remember, because people poo-poo online leads and everything is 
Josh and I tell our agents all the time, look, there are great people out there. These are wonderful people who just need your services and your help. And just as if you were to meet them at an open house or get referred to them as a friend, many of these people are seriously and sincerely seeking an agent who can help them. But it comes down to timing. If you catch them when they're at the grocery store checkout line, they may not be quite so interactive. And so that consistency of follow-up and everything else, but just remember that even if you get hung up on once or twice, so what? Out of those people, there are people sincerely looking for agents, and those are the ones that we connect with and really build a business on. Yeah, one of the things <clears throat> I would love to add to that, this is a the National Association of Realtors Home Buyers and Sellers Trends Report. I love showing this with anybody in the industry. Um, they pull all the buyers at the end of the year and they ask them, this is one of the many questions that are asked, but what is the primary reason for the timing of the home purchase? And every single year, the mass majority, sometimes you know, 40 to 60% answer that it was, quote, just the right time. And as you can see here, there's a lot of other logical answers that are given, like financing or availability or affordability which would be a, a logical decision to purchase a home. But the number one reason year after year is always, it was just the right time. And so I always kind of correlate this with the fact that a real estate in purchase for most people is still very much an emotional decision. And you're right, whenever something happens in somebody's life that causes them to go online, type in those keywords and phrases and land on your website, the most effective and most uh, important way to convert these leads is to call them right away. And then, like you said, Morgan, if they're not a, a very conversational right away, or it's just not the right time, then, you know, persistence is, is going to pay off. You know, you got to uh, consistently stay in front of that lead, make sure that you're offering value. And that's exactly what we look, look to do here at Rockerbox. Why don't you guys talk a little bit about some of the results? I know that you guys are big uh, KPI guys and you track your numbers and it's, it's what's less important is buying a bunch of leads and building a huge database, but actually getting some closings and uh, converting some of these deals and being able to uh, put some food on the table and create some freedom for your family. So yeah, we went back uh, just over the last few years and uh, we should actually go back further back in the last seven to 10 years because we've been working online leads for a long time, but I think we went back about three or four years. And uh, right now we have closed just in that short window uh, over $2 million in GCI from straight from online leads, not from anything else, wow. but directly coming from online leads. So we always tell people, look, they do work. They are valuable. You just have to work it. And there's a lot of agents either that have a fear of the phone or don't want to do it or don't have the time. And that's where Rockerbox comes into play because you guys take all those, all those, the negative aspects of calling online leads and you guys handle all of that and we don't have to worry about it and then we can take that lead and hand it off to one of our great agents on our team and, and have them go score the touchdown at that point in time i'd follow up with that just like i said before if you're running a real estate business of any general size you have to realize that at some point in time you're probably going to outgrow your soi or your soi isn't going to do 100 percent of your deals you need we, we think about it as a stool and you need multiple lead streams coming in to con to have a consistent, repeatable business year in, year out. You can only do so many pop buys or uh, SOI parties and different, that can work and it works well in some areas. Specifically, I think the smaller your area, the smaller your town, the more individuals in a close community you're able to know, the better. But if you're in a major market, if you're in a big city like Phoenix or Dallas or you name it, you need that fresh blood. You need to be able to lead generate online. You need to be able to collect leads of people that you don't know in any way, shape or form and then convert them. And, so, you know, we're just strong believers that having an online system and a way to get in front of those people and then get their contact info and, and reach out and make connections with them can be at least 50% of your business. And yeah, is it going to be easy? No, but there's a lot of people out there that are seeking for real estate that don't know someone in your area that, that needs some help. And that's, that's really exactly where we got the name rocker box from. I'm asked all the time, what in the heck is a rocker box? This is what an old rocker box is. It's an old gold mining tool. So if you think about your internet leads like this, it, 
paints the picture a little bit more clearly. You guys have $2 million in closed revenue, and it didn't come from just walking up on one big clump of gold. It was the process, right? It was the, the monotonous, tedious process of taking the sand and the dust and the dirt and the gravel, putting them through the tool. At the end of the day, you wind up with those little flakes of gold, which after several years accumulates to $2 million in top line revenue. So congrats, guys. Proud to be partnered with you. Any last yeah. thoughts, Richard? Yeah, I was going to say along the lines of there are certain people who who don't have a, a brother who's a real estate agent or somebody who they're going to keep going back to. Maybe their prior agent has retired or left the business. I think one of the things, especially for you guys in Scottsdale, I'm, I'm curious how, how this has impacted you. We know in some of the other people we've talked to that are in more second home destination markets or, or places where there's a lot of out of state people moving to the market. I'm curious, I guess, in the past year or two, how that trend has maybe impacted your business, particularly right in how you handle online lead pipeline. Yeah, I think it's I think it's been tremendous. We're really lucky, obviously, to be in a in a state to where there are a lot of people moving here or want to own a vacation home or a second home here, and so that actually helps out our online lead generation quite a bit because once again, if they're local, maybe they already have a friend or family member that they're going to reach out to. But if they're not local and they're coming from out of state, they probably don't know anyone here. And so they're going to go in there, start doing the research, searching for properties. That's how we get them into sync because they come to our platform and they register and put their information in. And then from there, usually they don't know anyone. And so it makes it really easy to connect with them, start building a relationship, start sending them properties that they you know, truly want to see. And then when they come to town, take them out and show them some homes. And on that same note, I know we've captured and converted a lot of people only to find out what they actually do know a lot of people. They know someone who owns a home in this neighborhood and someone who owns a home in that. They had all these people they could have reached out to and got a referral of who they used as a real estate agent, but they're online first. They're online first. And if you get in front of them and build a connection, they never get a chance to reach out to their second cousin or their second cousin's best friend, who they also know that moved to Scottsdale two years ago. Whatever it is, the, the point is, there's many ways to generate leads, of course, but as a successful real estate professional, you must lead generate. You have to figure out that way and whether it's online, but, but you have to do it and you have to do it consistently. And if you want to have long-term success. I think it just boils down to a lot of that. We've found that Sync and Rockerbox have been great partners, great platforms to use. And like Josh said at the beginning of the call, it's because of that ROI. But make no mistake about it, you still have to work it. You still have to have that. But you want to find great partners in the business who are holding up their end of the deal and providing those opportunities for you to work. And, and if you do so, you, you can have a lot of success. Well, one last thing I would recommend before we get off video here is if you are outside of Scottsdale, but you have a buyer or seller that you need to refer to the Mojo team, how can they get a hold of you guys? They can either uh, go to www.mojoscottsdale.com or they can call us directly at 480-356-5657. They can email us directly at mojo at mojoscottsdale.com. Lots of great ways to get a hold of us. So yeah, feel yeah. free to reach out. We'd love to hear from you. We're obviously based here in Scottsdale, but we work and we have agents on our team, great professionals who work all over the Valley. So you name it, anywhere in the Phoenix general Metroplex area, we can help them. Awesome. And for those of you who are looking for help with converting your online leads, rockerbox.com, we spell a little strange. It's R-O-K-R-B-O-X.com. Or you can shoot me an email directly, josh at rockerbox.com. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad you guys were able to join us today. Josh, we, we really appreciate the partnership and Morgan and, and, and Josh, uh, we, we really appreciate y'all's business here.